Scorpion PSA Business Operations Package Message Board Training. Uh, the Scorpion Business Package has a very unique capability. When you log into it, as here, it uh, the first thing that pops up, it will give you a message board, which is programmable uh, by administrators, and you can post the thought of the day, which uh, is typically some sort of inspirational message. Uh, then you can have uh, posting of several uh, individual messages. These messages can be informative, they can be about events coming up, or they can be about training. Uh, as you see here, we have our thought of the day, and we have uh, information from our training manager that Data Tech is going to be um, supplying some advanced learning for 2x software uh, via YouTube. Uh, then the user simply clicks continue to finish loading their specific user desktop uh, for Scorpion. As you can see, my admin business summary loads first. Now, uh, to set up the message board, it's very simple. You simply go to Setup and Application Settings. And uh, the Application Settings section of Scorpion is the heart of the system. Uh, everything in Scorpion is is soft loaded. There aren't there's nothing hard coded, so you have to program all the information into it. Uh, there will be training modules uh, for each one of these tabs. Right now, we're going to look at the messaging tab, and you can uh, enable or disable the messaging by simply checking or unchecking this box. By checking this box, each time the users log in, they will see this message. So again, you want to put in an inspirational message here, and then you can copy and paste an image into the daily quote pick. Down here at the bottom is the actual message board. And to enter a message, you simply type in, this is a new message. Oops. And uh, once that's done, on the right-hand side, you can pick an activation date. I don't want this to activate until Monday. And then a deactivation date, so I don't want it to show uh, after Thursday. Um, it can be active or inactive uh, simply by checking that box as well. It automatically records the user who put in the message. And then you can also put in a web link. So as in the case with the training message above, uh, the web link goes to the YouTube training. So if the message you're sending is linked to some sort of online resource, you can go ahead and put that in there. Once you're done typing your messages, you simply click close. To test it, you can go up here to the main menu and you can click the people button and that will relaunch the message board. Uh, as you can see, the message that I uh, created didn't post here because I put a delayed uh, start date on it. So what we'll do, just to make sure that this works, we'll go back into the application settings and we'll go to the messaging tab. We'll go to our message here and we'll say, you know what? I do want that to show, so I'll even backdate that just to make sure. We'll go ahead and close out of there and now we'll click on our people button and now you can see this is a new message has posted. Uh, just to reference the one above about the training, and you remember that that had a web link in it, so all I do is click the Internet Explorer link, and that will take me directly out to the training resource that's associated with that message. So the messaging uh, board uh, can be very powerful. Uh, we use it internally for things like uh, uh, events coming up, like uh, employee lunches or birthdays or announcing new employees. This is a great way to announce new employees. Um, email is not quite as effective for that because uh, once the message is delivered, then it's, uh, it's deleted and it's gone. Uh, with the message board, the users will get reminded every time that they log in. So uh, thank you for attending the uh, training event for the Scorpion PSA message board.